is Jalen Duran. Foul trouble again in this first half. So this is the first time we're seeing him in quite a while. Now let's take a look at our Upsy first half stats. And defense tells the story on both sides. Well, it does. Yeah, and again, yes, ball uh, passing, a problem at times. But it's not just the defense. It's the technique. It's the athleticism. It's the character. Both of these teams are high-level defensive teams. Tyrese Hunter limited to six points. Isaiah Brockington, who had a career-high 30 in the semifinals, held to just two in the first half for Iowa State. Tried to isolate Durham, but that's not George Condit's game usually. Three on the shot clock. Kelsher's going to have to fire. He does and hits. What Second time tonight Kalsher. he's done that. What a night for Gabe Kelsher. Got off to a slow start this year offensively for Iowa State, but his offense has really come alive in Brooklyn. And you have to make tough shots against this team. That one almost stolen away. It'll stay Memphis basketball. Gabe Kalsher, a game high 17. He's the only player on both teams in double figures right now. Every basket is like a hand to hand combat tonight. Alex Lomax triggers the inbounds for the Tigers. Here's Quinones. See how many bodies are on that baseline? We call that fill and sink. Bates, offensive foul. Good positioning on defense by Gabe Kalsher. It's a clinic. Dick Bennett, Bob Knight, you name them, they would love this. Now Memphis gets in its own way, but the technique defense, look at this. Watch this now. That is legal. See, once you have two feet on the ground, Facing the man with the ball, you are allowed to slide sideways or backwards. That is perfect technique by Kalsher. They swing the ball to Kalsher. He's fielded! He's fielded! And a four-point play from number 22 in Cardinal Red. That's Gabe Kalsher. Wednesday night, Isaiah Brockington took the game over. Tonight, it's been Gabe Kalsher. I mentioned earlier, 15% coming into Booker. Rich, as a freshman at Minnesota, he shot 41 from three. As a sophomore, 34. Last year, 25. How cool would it be if he gets his confidence back? He completes that three-point play, has a season-high 21 points. And he's extended Iowa State's lead, their largest of the night, 38-27. Again, side-to-side -side continuity means it's just a defensive drill right now. Memphis not looking really to score. Bates will. No good. Brockington clears and wants to run. Here's Hunter. And that one's blocked out of bounds by Imani Bates. Well, you made a great point, Rich. You're probably right now. Perfect example. Score early. Yeah. And they got out off that rebound and got out early, and that has been a good piece of strategy tonight for T.J. Otzelberger. You espoused that early, and that's exactly the way some of this game has played out tonight. There is just no airspace available on either side of the floor. Oh, boy. Kalsher's feeling it. Heat check goes out of bounds. It'll stay Iowa State basketball. How about this guy in town tonight? George Niang, who's having an outstanding year from the fellow Philadelphia 76ers. Rich, you and I have been in Ames. There aren't five more popular players who have ever played at that school than George Niang. 2016 All-America scored 2,000 points, over 700 rebounds and 400 assists in his illustrious career as a Cyclone. And now, to your point, he's averaging close to 12 a game. Doing great. The Sixers. Yeah, great free agent pickup from Methune, Mass. Some people think the greatest player ever to come out of the Merrimack Valley. Some Matt Bonner fans would disagree. I'm going to go with George Niang on that one. But seriously, great career. Part of that renaissance under Fred Hoiberg, Monte Morris in the NBA, Matt Thomas, Naz Long playing well overseas. Great move. Lomax challenged. It rolls off the rim. Durham gets another chance. And Jalen Duran is in the scoring column for the first time tonight. Nicely done. Good poise that time by Duran. Gathered himself. 
Now full court pressure after the make. Handled by Hunter. Bounce pass. Jones. And Robert Jones will go to the line and shoot a pair. And Jones has got to go up and dunk that. Can't miss that shot. Great pass out of the double team. When Iowa State has handled the pressure in the backcourt and at midcourt, they've gotten the ball in advantage situation at the rim. This young man from Minneapolis started his career at Denver. Excellent student. And as much as we talk about the defense on both ends being so superior tonight, Iowa State struggled out of the gates, three for 18. But they're 10 for their last 15 from the field. What's impressed you the most about their offense? Boys. Well, first of all, they've got a guy who's red hot. That always helps. Tauscher's been on fire, but the poise as well. Two not good looking free throws right there. An invisible turnover. There's Nolly for three. Better than a turnover. Last year, Landers Nolly was All American Conference. Just three three pointers tonight so far for Memphis, and Landers Nolly has two of them. And Aruna lost the handle. Good challenge there. Good job of not fouling by both freshmen. They walled off Anaruna and he had nowhere to go. Now Jazz Kuntz checks in for TJ Otzelberg. And yeah, watch this job inside. Anaruna loses it. Now watch them. Just put your hands up. That's all you got to do. They're not going to score over you. You don't want to foul them. Now the best player on the floor tonight, Gabe Kalsher. That's two tough shots in a row. He's right. been feeling it. He doesn't need to jack them. But he comes up with his fourth steal of the night there. Here's a lob. Look out! Turnover to an easy bucket. Iowa State's got some athletes, too. Isaiah Brockington, who started his career at St. Bonaventure, I think for Jim Sadlin. Here's another steal by Kalsher. Goes right at Bates with the left hand. This He's is, unconscious, Fran. This is unbelievable. This team won two games a year ago. Two and 22. Only three players returned. And now they're on the brink of winning two games in a row against top 25 foes. Chip, and right now, Iowa State is 15-52 away from doing that. They lead number nine Memphis by eight, and they are being led by Gabe Kalsher. Outstanding. Confidence coming back. Senior year after three years at Minnesota. And uh, he's really feeling it, Rich, to the point where he, there's no hesitation. Hey, he's gotten out of the offense a little bit, but you don't mind that. For Memphis now, keep this in mind, 11 players tonight have played six minutes or more. So the cumulative effect of the pressure, Penny Hardaway hope, hopes kicks in here in the last 15 or so minutes. Timberlake out of the timeout, completes the three-point play. Because they're pressing every dead ball possession. Here it comes. DeAndre Williams at the head of the press for the Tigers. Pretty good job of handling that first trap, but watch. Watch those white jerseys. They come up from behind, try to tip it. Rockington hangs, can't hit. Hook. Out of bounds, Memphis basketball. You don't see that often, an air ball on a drive. You've been saying all game long, you advocate for Iowa State going right at the teeth of the Memphis yeah. defense. That's what they were doing. Well, you got to get it on the rim, bro. Yeah. Timberlake, no. Tipped. Here comes Hunter. Oh, good execution. Look how, look how hard they cut. Rockington steps back and knocks it down. Good D. Better shot. He heated up in the second half of the semifinal game, too. 23 points. This is going to be fun at Hilton Coliseum this year. We're going back soon. That's right. Keep that a secret, Rich. <laughs> the Cyhawk series what? coming up. I said keep it a secret. I haven't let my people know. That's a foul. That no is a whistle. Foul. And a three wow. by Landers Nolan. Now, 
Let me just say this. It's possible that the, the official felt the offensive player made the contact. Something they're trying to get away from this year is calling that foul when the offensive player initiates. Landers Nolly had four three-pointers coming into this game. He's got three tonight. Let's go watch that last play. I think it was, was it Jaden uh, Hardaway? Man, I would have called that a foul, honestly, yeah. on the defense. Yep, see, the key, the key is for, it's not a big play, but Kauscher's got to stay vertical. I think he went forward. Now Malcolm Good Dandridge job. checks in, number 23 in white for Penny Hardaway, and Jalen Duran, the superstar freshman, takes a seat on the bench. I thought Malcolm Dandridge played one of the best games I've seen him play yeah. on Wednesday night. I've seen Memphis five or six times, Rich, in the last three years. Of course, former Memphis East star who helped Penny Hardaway win some titles. Bounce pass. Hunter again oh, goes man. right at the That's defense. That's what you do, Rich. I keep telling you, young guys at home, they, he'll block your shot, but take it up through his face. He'll respect you. Hunter's got no fear. Nolly, not that time. Offensive rebound, Williams. Love his effort. This came up empty. He wanted a foul, not tonight. Now Kalsher. Kiefer, Iowa State, look at this cutting. Yeah, they look crisp on offense in the second half, but a block by Dandridge. Didn't even have to jump. Nice play by Malcolm Dandridge. Nice. Oh, not nice. Williams can't handle it. Here's Terry Sutter, the star freshman for Iowa State. And this is toughness right here. This is toughness. Watch this. I'm going right through you, big fella. I don't care if you're there. You jump, I'll hang, I'll finish. Watch this. Great job by the freshman from Racine, Wisconsin. A place that state's put a number of quality players into that Cyclone program. Chris, Scott Christofferson, Deontay Garrett, this kid, a kid named Halliburton was pretty good. TJ Altsberger calls Tyrese Hunter low ego, high producing. Young man who lost both of his parents as a youngster. Lives for a good part of his formative years with his older brother. Good trap. Uh, uh, we're going to have a tee. Somebody's getting teed here unless they uh, let that go. A little frustration by Dandridge. And Isaiah Brockington. And yeah, they're going to have a look at this. By Ali Kuntz. Now, the default here is the double T, okay? Again, the trap. Larry, Larry Brown is saying, keep your cool. Good trap right here. Let's see if they reach in. Hard to tell from that angle. Well, Malcolm Dandridge got the push. And normally what happens in a situation like yeah. this, Fran, the guy second to yeah. offend gets yeah. called. It was a slight nudge by Brockington, who kind of initiated this. Watch this. Right there. Yeah. A little bit. And then Dandridge takes offense. And my guess is double T right here. And both players will be assessed a personal foul. And then there'll be point of interruption. Iowa State will have the ball. So there's essentially three timeouts for both clubs. Yeah, too. there's more. Dandridge took it to another level, but watch Brockington. He's going to kind of lean in right here. Watch this right here. Just a little, yeah. not much, and then a little more from Dandridge. Yeah. So the question is, did the official see Isaiah Brockington well, do they, that? Well, that's why they got a replay. Right. That's why we go to the monitor. The obligatory officials conference, by the way, our team to referee, both teams, they play so hard. Pretty good tonight. And a good job they, by Ali Kuntz to wrap up Isaiah Brockington and make sure yeah, yep. it wasn't any worse yes. than it could have been. Get him out of there. What an effort by Iowa State. Courtney Green, the lead official, coming over. He'll tell Fran exactly how everything's going to shake out. 13.33 to go. And Iowa State has led since it was 
2-1 with 17.51 to go in the first half. It's a 46-38 lead. You got it. Double check. That's actually dead ball technical fouls by, by definition. And all that means is each player will be assessed a personal. Right. Each team will be assessed a team. Iowa State will keep the ball. No free throws. No free throws. Nope. Well, coming up after us in Brooklyn, we'll go out to the West Coast at 11.30 Eastern on ESPN2. The finals of the Paycon Wooden Legacy from Anaheim featuring number 24 USC and San Diego State. Andy Enfield has his team in the top 25 again. San Diego State, Brian Dutcher, again doing an outstanding job. San Diego State got past Georgetown in that semifinal. Here comes more pressure, and that's time it's Jackson. Coots. Ooh, there it is. Threw it away, loose ball. Bodies all over the place. And I'm telling you, Isaiah Brockington, when they watch that film, TJ Otzelberger will say, if you dive on the floor, we get that possession. He tried to reach over and pick it up. Could have saved uh, Cyclone's possession. Watch this right here. Unprepared. Jones, I watch Brockington dive on the floor, pick it up, man. I'm, I'm a stick for that. Well, these are the 50-50 balls that exactly. could ultimately decide a ball game. First to the floor, we always say. First, first to the floor. You hear a lot of coaches espouse that. Seven on the shot clock for the Cyclones. Yeah, Jackson is not a one-on-one -on -one player. Short on the jumper. And Kuntz and Timberlake collide. And a foul is going to be called on Earl Timberlake. Jazz Kuntz played three years at Washington State. They've got a deep team. Didn't feel he was going to get a lot of time this year. But he played a lot of minutes for Kyle Smith, and he's done a lot of dirty work. Had a big game early in the year. Yeah. Shooting a three ball, but, yeah. he, but he's, a, he's, a, he's doing a good job of being a junkyard dog. And anybody who's from Slovenia should make his free throws. Well, he's two for two tonight. And just like, just like I said. <laughs> Memphis not going away. Funny I say it that way, right? It should right. be the other way, but Memphis defense going to be relentless. Can they get some good looks? There's Tyler Harris, the great. former Cyclone. Yeah, great switch. Former teammate of Jackson. Grill. Great Coots. Great Aggressive with yeah. the rebound. Tremendous block out. Lots of crimson on the glass there. Here's the trap. Spread it out, move the ball. Nice. Jump stop, bounce pass, buckets. <laughs> Great job. That's how you do it. Once you beat that first line, do not give the defense a chance to rediscover its defense. Just attack them. 12 20 to go. The Cardinal and Gold sniffing an upset. There's Nolly, too strong. Now they gotta... Watch Coons, this is textbook. We've been talking fundamentals all night. Watch, jump stop, fake, go the other way. Oh, they're loving this at Wallabies right now. They're going crazy, the sound is up. Been to Wallabies with me? Of course. Okay. Might get a free meal next time. Yeah. If you're watching at home, you may not know that Fran Fraschilla is the de facto mayor of Ames. Now we've done so many great games in that building. Uh, that place will be rocking if this team's playing like this. If this team plays this hard, they're gonna be they're gonna be proud of this team. I don't know how many games they'll win, but they're gonna be proud of it. Look at that swarm. Look at the defense. Great call on the shot clock. Quinones. That's a good call. Yeah. Didn't get the rotation quick enough, but that was good ball movement that time. I think it was Duran that recognized the double, kicked it out. 11.56 to go, immediate timeout. Rich, I saw them and I thought, it's not gonna happen overnight for them. I know they, I know they beat Michigan State champions, but uh, I expect that Kansas team to be very good by about January 15th or so. You know those Kansas teams, you and I know them so well. They get really a lot better during that Christmas break, remember? Yep. They got all that time to practice and a little bit of boot camp. A little bit of boot camp. Won't be all bad. 
Good pressure again. And Aruna, aggressive. Nice. Left hand over the outstretched paws of Jalen Duran. Good D by Duran, but then Aruna right at him again. That's how you attack the shot blocker. You cannot baby that ball up there. Bates just tossed it up at the rim and came up empty. Out of bounds, it'll be Iowa State basketball. Imani Bates wants a foul right here, but that's this is not Peach Jam, bro. He's a, he's gonna he wanted a foul, but he just threw up threw up a tough shot. And you look for keys as to why these Iowa State Cyclones are up 12 right now, Fran, their largest lead of the game. Look at the points in the paint, 22 to 10 over Memphis. Yeah, well, and that's what you have to have an aggressive mindset. You know, you do. I'd love to see Imani go to the basket and get fouled. But you said it, that ball was up there, had helium in it, and growing pains. Hunter right. threaded the needle to his big man, George Condit, and Condit gets fouled. Well, it has been an instantaneous turnaround since T.J. Otzelberger has taken the reins at Iowa State. Last year, winless in the Big 12, only two wins in the non-conference all season. It was their fewest wins in almost 100 years. And yet, with a virtually totally different roster, T.J. Otzelberger has assembled a bunch of guys who he knows will play hard. This, this team already has his fingerprints all over. You know, they play Arkansas Pine Bluff more for their next home game. I don't know if they're going to have a sellout, but this, this group will get a rousing ovation just on the effort alone, regardless of what happens tonight. I got I, Iowa State fans texting me saying, I can't believe I'm watching this team play this hard. And, and what they want in Ames, as, as you know, we've been there through the years, is just effort, you know, effort. And let's get let's get real about this. They dealt with COVID last year. They had injuries. Steve Prohm unexpectedly lost guys to the NBA. Nobody thought that Taylor Horton Tucker and Tyrese Halliburton, you know, would be gone even by now. But the reality is uh, that's how it rolls. And uh, Jamie Pollard, the athletic director, hired Matt Campbell as his football coach, and I think he's made a pretty good hire in this guy. T.J. Altsberger has cardinal red blood, that is for sure. He married a Cyclone, Allison Lacey, three-time All-Big 12 player on her own right, a WNBA champion with the Seattle Storm. She would have been here, except they have three young kids, so she's a mom first. I'm sure watching at home, cheering on her Cyclones. All right, let's see, the, let's see what Memphis has got now. Sense of urgency with 10 minutes to go. It's like they're in a little matchup zone right now. Hunter hangs, can't hit. Numbers, finally. They give it back. Williams thought about the three, takes the three wide open and hits it. There you go. That's number two on the season, right? That is correct. But I love the ball movement. I love the I love them kicking it up the floor. Nicely done. A lot of time left for this Memphis defense. An eight-point game coming up on ten minutes to go. Remember, they've they've played eleven tonight, so they shouldn't be tired. Here's Kalsher in the corner. Bingo! Boy, Rockington on Wednesday, Kalsher tonight. Two former Big Ten guys. They played a lot of minutes in that league. Both were starters. Gabe Kalsher, five for seven from the free throw line, three for four from three, and 10 for 16 overall. This is a young man who, in his days at Minnesota, showed the propensity for being able to fill it up. It, it but it went progressively downhill down, each yeah. year. You know, his first year he shot 40%. He had a game winner on a, at a tournament they were in out on the West Coast, I remember. And, uh, you know, brighter days were ahead. He comes from a great program. De La Salle produced uh, the Travis brothers. Noah played at Harvard. Reed played at uh, Stanford and then Kentucky. One of the powerhouses in Minnesota basketball. He's gotten as many threes tonight as he has all season. 
Lomax can't hit the front end of the one and one. But how about Hunter? How good has Hunter been? Breeder naturally mature for just a true freshman. Nice kick out. Loose ball, grabbed by Kalsher, 10 on the clock. He's feeling it. No way. Not that one. Offensive rebound, loose ball. Condit grabs it. That's that 50-50 ball you talked about, Rich. See what they watch the cuts. Here's Anaruna. Got it. First three of the year for Tristan Anaruna. the trap. There it Turn is. Turn through it yeah. right to Hunter. And Hunter gets the foul and will go to the line. Let's take a look at tonight's game track brought to you by visitorlando.com. What do you see, friend? Uh, relentless defense and relentless execution by Iowa State. I'm stunned, Rich. Watch practice in October. I knew they were building a, a culture, a work ethic, the defense, but I did not see this coming either on Wednesday or tonight. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm impressed. And uh, this young man at the line has impressed me as well. Tyrese Hunter out of St. Catharines. It's a school that has had great Milwaukee basketball traditions. Racine just south of Milwaukee. Remember Jimmy McIlvain? A guy named Jim Jones, who was a great player for uh, Coach Al and Marquette. Coached by Nick Bennett. We mentioned the Bennett family, so big in yeah. Wisconsin. And, and this, this guy's from Wisconsin absolutely. also. Yep. We, so they are kindred spirits. Well, he recruited a lot of those kids that went to um, went to Iowa State. Matt Thomas from Lacrosse, actually on Alaska to be exact. DJ you know, Otzelberger called this job a dream scenario for him. And he's living a dream right now on the verge of back-to-back -to -back top 25 upset wins. The crazy thing is I'm not sure Memphis can score 15 points in eight minutes. Nolly got it. It's a good start. Landers Nolly can put the ball in the basket. He was only averaging six shots a game coming into New York. That would probably have to change based on what we've seen tonight. Look at that movement. Good cutting, killing some time. Oh! Nice what cut. What a cut yeah. and a finish by Caleb Grill. That is the perfect execution of what we call a 45-degree cut. You could not run an offense any better than that just there. Grill cut from the backside behind the defense who was not paying attention. Nolly again. Off to the right, grill the rebound. And once again, what I would do if I were T.J. Otzelberger with a timeout coming is once they get over midcourt, see if you can run that side-to-side -side action again. And here they go. Kill some time. Keep cutting. Keep it reversed. Now start to look to shoot it. Eight on the shot clock. Here's Kelsher. He'll shoot it. He's got a game-high 28 tonight. Spins, fakes up, and doesn't get it to go. You know what? They killed about 30-plus seconds on that possession, and they didn't turn it over. Here's Bates working on Inaruna. Well, tough, too. Wow. It, it, it's a little it's tough to watch. It really is. He's going to be a good player when he's like 22, 23. He's 17 years old. Coots, no way. Like a wild stallion through no the way. Memphis defense. Wow.
at Iowa State would score because they were very fluid offensively. They've never had a defense quite like this. The joke when Fred was winning all those Big 12 tournament titles was they spent 10 minutes a day on defense. <laughs> and it's almost true, not the case with this team. But this team doesn't have offensive firepower either. They have to win this way right now. Good cut. Lomax, very nice. Got it to go. Same similar situation. Lomax cut behind the defense that time. Nice execution by Canones, who jump stopped in the lane. Good fundamental basketball. Full court pressure after the make. Tyler Harris harassing Gabe Kalsher. And Aruna gets tripped from behind. That's going to be a foul on Harris. In the Sooners, because if Oklahoma State wins at home, they knock. Uh, Oklahoma out of a chance at a Big 12 title. That would go to Baylor. And then if Lincoln Riley and the boys can win in Stillwater, there will be a rematch in Dallas next week. That's going to be a great in-state rivalry game. And that rivalry, sadly, is going away because uh, Texas, that football juggernaut, and Oklahoma are heading to the SEC. You don't think they'll still play? No, nah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Another yeah. turnover. Oh, looks like they're going to keep it here. Well, no, but it is a turnover. I honestly, Rich, I just don't think Memphis has any way to score 17 points. Their fewest points this year was 69 against Virginia Lay Tech. Up. That came two nights ago. Lay up. They're carving this defense up like we did yesterday at the Smith when we had that turkey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. They're going to check this. Jazz Koontz took an yep. elbow to the face. Now, I hope this is not on purpose because I'm hoping it's an accident. Uh, DeAndre Williams has gotten a little frustrated. Uh, this this could be, this is going to be, if it's if it's on purpose, it's a flagrant two. You'll say bye-bye to DeAndre Williams. Let's watch now. Hope it's, hope it's not on purpose. Oh, boy. He's gone. That'll be a that should be a flagrant too. There shouldn't even be a discussion of this. Take a look. Watch the right hand. And uh, I think you got to call that a flagrant too. You can make it a judgment call and keep him in the game with a flagrant one. But no need for this right here. Well, DeAndre Williams held to six points and six rebounds tonight. I I don't think Memphis expected. Iowa State to do to them what Iowa State did to Xavier, which is figuratively now punch him in the face. We're not talking about what just happened, yeah. but Iowa State from the start of this game to the end has been clearly the better team than the number nine team in the country. And if you spend any amount of time with T.J. Altsberger, that is his DNA as a basketball coach. Might not always be pretty, but it's going to be tough. No one is going to outwork or out tough this Iowa well, State that's, program. That's what they want to try to build, right. you know, and it's only been a few short months. We'll see. I still haven't seen whether it's a one or a two. So it's a flagrant one foul on DeAndre Williams. Okay, so it's a one. Excessive contact. Yeah, excessive, you know, severe and extreme. Now, let's just explain to people at home. Excessive is what they just ruled on. Severe and extreme would be a flagrant two. Right. And in the eyes of the officials, and I, I could have seen that go either way, and I, I have no problem with the one. Severe and extreme would have been with a fist. And looking at the guy dead on in the eye. And now Aliash Kuntz, young man they call Jazz. DeAndre Williams has been a team leader for this Memphis club going back to last year. And right now he's got his guys huddled up at the other foul line. And yeah. right now, T.J. Otzelberger, Rich, I've had this experience a few times as a head coach. He's having an out-of-body experience right now. I mean that. He is saying to him, I mean this sincerely now. He is saying to himself, I cannot believe that all of the hard work that we have put in since April actually is manifesting itself on the court right now. Like he doesn't want this dream to end for another five minutes. And then he's going to be the happiest man in Iowa. Not over yet. 
but this has been a basketball clinic tonight. Could be a fun ride home to Ames. There's Kuntz for three. And maybe that's the icing on the cake. I'm telling you, he's got goosebumps inside. It's an amazing feeling when you put the work in time after time, the 7 a.m. practices, the weights, the conditioning, and see your team do this. Because this doesn't happen often during the season. And Kuntz is everywhere. Hit the free throws, got the three-pointer, and that rebound as well. Not as a careless mistake. That's a block. And a ticky-tack foul by Tyrese Hunter will send Alex Lomax to the line to try to complete a three-point play. Yeah, Hunter's not been perfect tonight. We didn't expect him to be, but that time you throw it away, you're up 24, let him score, take it out of bounds, and don't give him a chance now to set up their press and have fresh bodies come into the game. Yeah, fresh bodies, fresh men. Yes. Literally. Yeah. Jalen Duran, Josh Minot. And Imani Bates all checking in for Penny Hardaway. By the way, all three of those guys will be NBA players. Absolutely. It's They'll be playing here in a couple of years yeah. in NBA uniforms. It, they will. It's just it's, it's, it's a fait accompli. Not only that, it's going to happen. <laughs> Duran held to two points and five rebounds tonight. Bates just five points, one rebound, no assists. This is the hard part of uh, mock drafts is because we they rate these kids before they play a college game and then they say that they're overrated when they drop them but that's why you have the internet four minutes to go hunter you can see they're still burning clock yeah even that showed maturity it did five to shoot gotta shoot it now Kuntz will he got held, Condit got held by Timberlake. Our final media timeout is upon us. 3.46 to go. That's all that stands between Iowa State and an NIT championship. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Upsy, the smarter way to warranty. Protect your tech for less at upsy.com. By Visit Orlando. Plan the ultimate Orlando getaway and discover savings at visitorlando.com. And by Dollar General, where you save time and money every day. Memphis 49. It was a defensive war in the first half, and then all of a sudden, Iowa State kept the clamps on Memphis's offense, but their offense, respectively, came alive in the second half. They had a couple guys get hot, certainly Kausher with his career night. They got baskets off the pressure, attacking it, and uh, it's been an absolute incredible performance by a team that won two games last year. You know, we were counting them up, Rich. With the transfers, some of the guys that returned, eight soft, uh, excuse me, nice move there by Amani. Eight juniors and seniors on this Iowa State roster. And again, Memphis, a young, a relatively young team. Obviously, Bates and Duran and Minot out there now are just freshmen. Time now for our protection spotlight presented by Upsy, and it features a freshman. Speaking of freshmen, the only freshman on this roster, Tyrese Hunter. Watch him take the ball right at the big fellas. No fear. And this Iowa State team all night long played with no fear. Tyrese Hunter. Not having quite the night that he had in the yeah. semifinals when he went off for 19 points and five steals. Still has nine points, five assists, and three steals tonight. Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Upsy, very proud of him. By the way, get on the Upsy website. Yes. Yeah. You know, use the code TURKEY and you get 15% off. Just wanted to let you guys at home know. 
So there's 3.10 to go. It's academic at this point as Gabe Kelcher knocks down the free throw. He's just adding on to his numbers. Kalsher with 29. And make it 30. His career high is 34. So back-to-back -back games where T.J. Otzelberger had one player in particular light it up on the offensive end. In the semifinals, it was Isaiah Brockington who went for 30 against Xavier. And tonight, it's Gabe Kelsher's night. And by the way, George Condit is a senior playing the best basketball of his career, the anchor inside. Timberlake, no. Foul. And Brockington getting bumped. He'll go to the line. This is like the old guys at the Y playing the newbies. And uh, the old guys are going to hold the court for a while. Very talented group at Memphis. They play hard. We saw great defense for most of this weekend, but uh, just uh, Rich, I just, I just don't know how they're going to be able to survive against elite teams without the ability to take care of the basketball. I know one guy who's enjoying this. Came up from Philly to see this. That guy right there, George Niang. Having a terrific year. Free agent signing. Iowa State's put a lot of dudes in the NBA in the last 10 years. They have. They really have. Uh, you know, unheralded. Yeah. Deontay Burton was there for a while. Matt Thomas now. Monte Morris signed a great deal with the Nuggets. He's been outstanding. Naz Long playing overseas. They got a lot of guys playing overseas, too, making good money. Going back to Will Clyburn. And the bad boys, Chris, Nick Wilder, bad. Great group of guys, too. They, they've represented the university in a first-class way. And I'm not so, sure where he is right now, but Jeff Hornacek must be smiling yeah. somewhere. There you go. There you go. Count the basket. He's liking it. I think he's a scorer, man. I do. I, 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 would, I would put the point guard stuff in my back pocket and let him do this, man. He can create on his own. You know, you know, when he's 25, he's going to be killing people. Yeah. I mean, how do you stop that shot? He's That's just, Kevin Durant. Yeah. Yep. What do I know? I don't watch the high school guys like I used to. I'm, I'm sure he was. he's going to be phenomenal. But I like it. You know, they, they say these are talking to the coaching staff. They love these kids. They, uh -huh. they love them all. Penny's not going to uh, suffer fools gladly. He's not going to have any clowns out there. Here's coach's son, Jaden Hardaway. Good pass. Hardaway for three. And got the no flicker. foul called. Yeah. Wow. Brockington got a piece. Smart. Pull it out. This game's over. Run your clock. Celebrate. Iowa State's going to be 6-0 for the first time since 2015, Fran. And there is only a small handful of power conference teams who are 6-0 in this young part of the season. Duke is one of them. Baylor's another one. They're 7-0 now. Well, Purdue. Yep. Yeah. They, they don't want to stub their toe on Pine Bluff. And then they go to Creighton. And then, of course, the Hawkeyes come to town. Blocked by Brockington. It's been a complete destruction. I'm anxious to see Memphis in February, you know, in, in American Conference play. And it's a great lesson. Go back and watch the tape and see the mistakes. We all do it. Shot clock violation. Under two minutes to go. Memphis's only lead of the game was when they had a 2-1 lead with 17.51 to go. Yeah, it, it, Coach Otzelberger barking at George Condit because he needed him in the press offense. But deep down, he's thrilled. And you know what? This, this young guy, he's got some turnovers tonight. But, you know, a great compliment to him. His coach called him. He's, he's, I said, who does he remind you of? He said, Jarrell McNeil. 
who, who not only played at Marquette yeah. and is the all-time leading scorer at Marquette, I believe, although my guy Howard, I think, passed him. Little Marcus Howard, so I take that back, Marcus. You had an amazing career. But Jarrell McNeil is the epitome of what toughness is, and that's a pretty good compliment. That's a foul. Don't do that. No need to do that, freshman. See, if I was Isaiah Brockington right now, I'd just tell him, hey, come on, man. Pull him aside. The game's over. Don't do that. And you made the point, and, it, you know, I mean, he's glad to be home, but Tyler Harris could have been a part of this, but uh, he jetted back to Memphis where he started his career. But he played with Trey Jackson, who's been out there tonight. For those of you who tuned in, like, quite frankly, we did, yeah. to see Jalen Duran and see what he has in store for the basketball world, a combined one for six from the field and two points in two games. I'm, I'm not smart enough to know how good an NBA player he's going to be right now, honestly. I watched him for two games. I have no idea. Usually, you know, when Kevin, when Rick Barnes told us that Kevin Durant was the best player in the country as a freshman, you'd say, yep, but I, I can't tell yet, you know? Yeah. It's, it's so early in the development. And then Imani Bates, he's two years away from the draft. He's only 17. These guys were high school sophomores just a little over a year ago. Yeah, I, I think for this team, DeAndre Williams, Timberlake, and Nolly, and Lomax have to kind of lead the way and then just, you know, those freshmen have just got to be role players right now. And being a role player for Imani Bates means going to get buckets, you know? Being a role player for Jalen Duran is rebound block shots. Brighter days ahead for sure for this Memphis Tigers program. A lot of the pundits picking them first in the American Conference. Some picking them second behind Houston. One thing we know is they have a fierce defense, and if they could figure it out offensively, they'll be a handful for any team in the country. I think they go to Georgia next week. Yeah. They play five of their next six games against SEC schools. Georgia, Ole Miss. Then they'll take on the Murray State Racers before facing Alabama and Tennessee. So a lot more tests still to come for this young Tigers team. It is over, and TJ... Otzelberger knows it. He's beaming inside. He's still looking, the, he's still got the intense Chris Beard look, but watch out. Rockington looking to put an exclamation point on it. This is, yeah, th this is like, this is like you're, you're an artist and you, you know you just painted a masterpiece. Yeah. So the teams that are now 6-0 or better, it's a very short list. Iowa State, Baylor, Duke, LSU, Iowa is 6-0. How fun is that Cyhawk series going to be? Uh, yeah, we're going to get there and have a couple good meals. And watch a great in-state rivalry. Fran McCaffrey, we're going to see Ke uh, yeah. Keegan Murray, who's having an All-American year, and the McCaffrey boys, and Jordan Bohannon, Joe Toussaint's off to a great start at the point. Going to be fun. Imagine if Jack Nungy was on that team. <laughs> who... You know, transferred home for personal reasons, right. but had a great tournament here in New York as well. Well, the shot clock is off. The Cyclone fans who made their way to Brooklyn are on their feet. And you want to talk about a statement pair of games for the Iowa State Cyclones. They are putting the rest of the Big 12 and the rest of the country on notice. A dominating performance on Wednesday night and an even more dominating performance in the championship game. Back-to-back -to -back top 25 upsets by the Iowa State Cyclones capped off with a...